Three. Okay. So today is Friday, TGIF. <laughs> and we're going to be looking at a couple of words that it's just interesting. I find words interesting anyway. But um, the words rest and restlessness, um, restful, uh, unrest, just those four letters are interesting to, to consider. And also how we feel about rest and restlessness. You know, we can undo restlessness. And it's like I, I put a post on Facebook this morning um, about our 9 a.m. yoga class and that the only way through all of this muck that the world is going through, in my opinion, the only way through that is through meditation um, to keep us sane and grounded and connected to spirit because there's so many forces fighting against that. So just consider the rest that you receive in meditation. I know I sleep deeper um, when I'm meditating regularly. And I know people who don't sleep at all. So maybe that's something they could try. But we also um, have our topic of trees. And um, we had a discussion before we turned on the recording about trees. And um, those of us who are here all love trees, adore trees. And I've been practicing my tree pose outdoors while I have my cat on her leash. <laughs> and we're standing by this huge, huge maple tree, this old maple tree. And I'll practice my tree out there. Um, so this morning when I got my uh, roasted dandelion tea, there was a tea bag um, quotation on here. And it says, today I have grown taller from walking with the trees. That's by Carly Wilson Baker. So we're going to be working with our tree pose this morning in this. This will be a short and sweet session. Um, so we'll just come over to our mats. And those who are able to, <laughs> we have one person driving this morning, just stand towards the front end of your mat, come into Tadasana or Samasthiti. If you want your feet apart, that's Tadasana, feet together is Samasthiti. And just press your feet down into the earth as though you have tree roots attached to your ankles and feet. Send those roots down into the ground. Turn your palms forward. If you're comfortable standing and closing your eyes, then close your eyes. Feel those roots leaving your ankles and feet and like tendrils flowing down into the earth. Reaching for the earth's nutrients. And allowing those nutrients and that energy from the earth to come up into your feet, into your legs, and up into your body as you 
Press down in your feet and lift up in your crown. I grow taller walking amongst the trees. And we'll attune to breath, bring palms together in front of your heart, breathe arms up overhead, and let's do our swan dive with this one. So breathe out as you bend forward and come down. You're welcome to soften your knees or bend your knees. My feline assistant is here helping me. And then we'll lift back up, breathe it up. And we'll do this three times. And hinge forward, come down. And breathe it up. And down. Just hang and ragdoll for a few breaths. Allow the back of your legs to stretch. You can bend and straighten your knees. And then come around side to side. Just loosen up in your hips. From here, just bend your knees and bring your palms onto the floor. Step your left leg back and stretch the heel of your left leg as you look up in sun pose. Breathe. <laughs> this is Confi. He's my 16-year-old cat. He wants to sit on my lap, but... That won't work. All right. Now step that foot in. We're just going to switch legs. Take the other leg out and stretch through the heel. Really press it away. Stretching that leg long. Lift your chin. And step that foot in. Now separate your feet, come down, and we'll open the hips. Just taking each knee back side to side. We want a strong, balanced trunk to our trees. And then come down in center for Malasana, bring palms together. And again, allow the earth's energy up into the perineum. Lift up in the crown. And then bring your palms back down. And lift your hips up, turn toes forward. Just come in a little closer, head to knee, each leg. Palms on the floor. Step or hop your feet back. And we'll come into downward facing dog. For balance, we'll come forward, bring the hips forward, come into upward facing dog. Now in up dog, the tops of the feet press down. The legs do not touch the floor. I'll turn sideways for those who are newer. So draw the chest through like a doxy puppy. Roll your toes under, down dog. Forward, up dog. Now, 
engage your glutes, your hip muscles to protect your low back. Lift up, stretch the front of your body. Feels so good. And draw your heels back into down dog. And walk your feet in. And reverse swan, press up, breathe. Palms together over your heart. Good. Now, tree pose. Separate your feet for now, hip width apart. Press your feet down. Place the full weight of your body through the soles of your feet onto the mat, into the ground. Lift your kneecaps. Engage your hips, draw the low abdomen in and up. Lift the heart center and draw the shoulder blades down and back. This is not military style. This is where you're pulling the shoulder blades down as though someone has strings on the shoulder blade, pulling it down. That opens your heart center. Lift up through your crown, press down through your fingertips. Strong Tadasana. Mountain. There's lots of trees on the mountains. Now, we're going to just shift the weight to one foot and then the other side to side. Press down on one foot, and then the other. Now come into the center between those two feet. Now rock towards the balls of your feet. You can lift your heels a tiny bit, then press back onto the heels. Imagine on the bottoms of your feet, two dots at the balls of your feet and two dots on the heels of your feet. And you're rocking pressing those sets of dots into the ground. Now come to center in between those two sets of dots between the ball and the heel and feel your centeredness. This is your center. Engage your core muscles. And then breathe, bringing palms together, taking a, your breath. And as you exhale, shift the weight over to your right foot. Now there's a couple different ways you can approach tree. You can turn the knee out here and bring the foot up to the, the base of the torso. Or you can bring the knee forward, reach for your ankle and pull it in and open the knee. So whichever way works better for you, focus on a spot, something that doesn't move, and press the foot against the inner thigh. Open the knee, all right? And then bring your branches up. You can make a V or you can bring your palms together. Press that foot that you're standing on, press it into the ground. Firm pressure. Now, for those who have a little more flexibility, you can bring your foot on top and lower the knee down in half lotus. And 
and come back up with your branches and hold. And then lower your branches, lower your leg, shake it out. Come back into your center. Let your body remember where that center is. Find it, take in your breath, shift the weight over onto your left foot. And however you want to bring your leg up, you can turn the knee out and bring it up, or you can bring it up in front of you. Focus on a spot that doesn't move. Press your foot against the inner thigh. It's an isometric pressing that gives you leverage. And then when you're ready, when you feel stable and comfortable, I have trouble on this side. Then bring your branches up and hold your pose. Now, again, you can also bring the foot on top of the thigh in half lotus and lower the knee down. Yeah, um, it's not gonna happen on this side this morning, so sorry. <laughs> I've been having trouble with that. So think of the tree. I notice when I'm outdoors and I practice tree across from a tree, standing opposite a tree, for some reason that helps me ground and hold the pose like forever. So whatever works for you, but it's wonderful to see and feel the stillness of that tree trunk unless it's a smaller tree and it's extra windy and it might be shifting a little bit. Okay, now just bring one knee up and then the other, just kind of loosen up after holding with a straight leg. All right, and then separate your feet for standing twist. Take your arms around, lift the outside heel so you don't twist in your knee. Protect yourself, keep yourself safe. And then come back to center. Come back into Tadasana or Samasthiti. And then just step forward, bend down. Come down onto your back for Shavasana. And just think about how you felt as you were holding your tree pose. Today, I have grown taller from walking with the trees. When we hold our tree pose, we press down in the foot and we grow tall just like a tree. Let yourself stretch out on your magic carpet mat. Feet separated. Pull your hips under, shoulder blades pulled under. Lengthen in your neck. Palms are turned up, of course.
Now think of rest. And think of how you feel when you're restless. Restlessness, unrest, restless. And allow that to fall away. Restlessness is something we're holding on to. And we can undo it. We can unwind. And come to rest. Choose rest right now. You ground it in your tree pose. The trees are the Earth's respiratory system. Feel your breath. Now start to come back to awareness of your body, the ground, your environment, the level of light, any air currents, sounds. You might hear cars driving by or trucks or airplanes overhead. You might hear the air conditioning. You might feel the coolness of the air. Again, feel your breath as you breathe in. Cool air through your nostrils. Warm air as you exhale. Start to bring some movement in now, just squeezing fingers and opening them. Maybe bend your elbow, stretch your arms up overhead, reach, reach through your heels, then point your toes. And on your next major exhale, 
Bring your arms back to your sides and lift your knees up to your chest. Wrap your arms around them. Your mini tree stumps. <laughs> and then come to one side and press up into sitting. And in closing, we're going to work with the Lakshmi mantra, mantra of the moment. The mantra is Om Shreem Maha Lakshmiye Svaha. And it means Om and salutations to she who manifests every kind of abundance. Lakshmi is the Hindu embodiment of good fortune, prosperity, and beauty. I like to use this mantra with the mala beads. So I repeat it 108 times. So just a few times now, Om Shreem Maha Lakshmiye Svaha. 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 One more. Om Shreem Maha. Lakshmiye Svaha. With your hands in mudra, seal in the benefits of practicing your tree, connecting with the trees. And then bring palms into Anjali Mudra. Thumbs right, pressed right up against your sternum, your heart center. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Happy Friday, everyone. Enjoy a wonderful weekend. Namaste. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>